Hey guys, it's Jackie. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you are having a fantastic week. When you guys are watching all of my videos, I am hanging out with family. We have family in town. And you know what? <clears throat> I noticed in one of my videos the other night that I'm constantly moving and readjusting myself. And I apologize. Like, I'm trying to not move as much, but it, it, it is what it is. So, I bought a candle. I should take that back. I traded for a candle um, that's not on sale right now, but I wanted to tell you guys about it because so far this is a second candle that I got in this new like Americana um, packaging. What's the matter? She's talking to us and it is raining here in Michigan today. Well, actually it's been raining for like years. Um, it's the last time it rained this much was like six or seven years ago. Well, maybe it's been longer than that. Yeah, because my mom was still alive. So maybe like seven years ago, we had just gotten a boat and it rained every weekend in June. It was completely crazy. And so here we are again. We don't have a boat, but um, I digress. So I got a candle and I have it lit here. So spoiler alert. And then the second spoiler alert is I've already gone back and traded for more. Um, they are not on sale yet. It is part of the blueberry pie and um, like that whole Americana section. You have you can only find these in like the white barn section of a Bath and Body Works. I did discover that. I told you guys yesterday I had left my local Bath and Body Works and they literally had no more blueberry pie. So I told my friends there at Bath and Body Works, I said, I want to stop talking about these awesome candles and that you should pay full price for them. They were laughing at me. But the candle I'm talking about is a Bonfire and S'mores. So here is the candle in this galvanized lid. I think it is, I love these. I think they are so pretty. Now, this is just a wraparound. I get that it's just a wraparound, but aesthetically, like just looking at it in the background with my Michigan, you know, wood piece back there, it is really, really pretty. So let's do a thumbnail. Um, and so I wanted to tell you guys about this candle because if they are on sale at your Bath and Body Works or your White Barn Bath and Body Works, I highly recommend this candle. So it's three wicks. It's cream colored wax. The notes in here are dark chocolate, fluffy marshmallow, and cinnamon graham crackers. Now, in the video that I haul this, I tell you guys these are some of my, because that video will go up first, and then this review will go up second. Some of my favorite scents are in this candle. And when I first smelled it, I was just like, yeah, you know, it smells good. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's my kind of candle, but I, I didn't think, like, I would really, really want it or I needed several of them. And then I watched my friend here on YouTube, Keeping Up With Kaylee, she hauled this last week. Um, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, in California they were on sale because she's in the LA area. And she said she didn't smell chocolate and I really don't either. And even with it burning, this is the second day that I've had it burning at this point of filming the video. But I'm in my sunroom. Now, right now all the windows are closed because it's, like I said, it's raining. But yesterday when I had it lit, or the first day that I had it lit for purposes of this video, we had the windows open and the whole room smelled like marshmallows and graham crackers. It literally smelled like we were making s'mores. Now, not so much in the chocolate department. It's not my hot fudge sundae chocolate. And I really don't smell chocolate on cold. And I can't smell the chocolate with it burning behind me. But this candle is probably, I would say in fragrance appeal, it's like an eight or nine. Like it is really, really good. And I would say it's guest friendly. Now I do have a friend at work that doesn't like cinnamon in her like scents. Like she does, it gives her a headache. But this is a warm cinnamon. I don't know, you know, I don't think you would have a problem. Like so if you lit this candle and you had it burning when, with guests coming over or family visiting, you know, whatever it is. I don't think they'd be like, oh my God, what are you burning? It's not a floral. It's, you know what I mean? Like it's not gardenia. Like gardenia is a special scent. This is really, really guest friendly. And look at the packaging. It looks like a wicker basket with the red going through it. I think they're really, really pretty. I like the way that these packaging look. 
this packaging looks. Um, and I am not mad at it. But dark chocolate is the first note. I don't really smell it either, Kaylee. I smell more graham cracker and fluffy marshmallow. And you guys know, three of my favorite scents are in this candle. So I went back and traded for more. Um because I really do like it. And I was telling them at my local Bath & Body Works, I said, you guys, this is a good candle. So when I talk about a fragrance throw, I would say this is probably a two to three room throw. And what I mean by that is if you have an average room, like you could smell this in my kitchen and living room, like those are connected and that you, it would fill, fragrance would fill that entire room. Um, out here with the windows open, you could smell it in the kitchen. That's how strong it was, but it's not like too much. Like it, it's not my uh, butterscotch toffee, which she's right there. And it's not hot fudge sundae, but it throws really, really good. Like, and it's so pleasant. Like it takes you back to like for me, Anywhere north of Saginaw, so if you want to look it up on a map, so if you go to Saginaw, anywhere north of Saginaw is up north for me, and we have a home up north with my dad and my stepmom and our family and stuff, and so when we go up there, I like to make s'mores with the girls, and you know, even all of my nephews and nieces, like when we go up there, and this reminds me of that, like the graham cracker, it smells like a cinnamon graham cracker, it's so reminiscent of my childhood. And just good memories. Like this candle invokes good memories. Now if you guys, um, there's another candle reviewer on here. There is a candle community. Like most of you guys know that. And our community is growing. But there's another reviewer. Um, he will say it makes his happy place happy. And I would tell you that this is this candle. Like that's how I feel about it. I think it's a really good candle. So I wanted to tell you guys about it. Um, I know and I don't know when this video will go up. I don't know when they'll go on sale or you know. Because twenty four fifty, not a lot of people want to pay that. You could go in and trade candle for candle if you want to do something like that. Um, I have a lot of candles that I keep on the side that are my trade candles, so that when a candle does come out and it's not on sale, you know I can get my hands on it. But this candle does make me happy. I love it. So I hope you guys are doing well. Let me know if you've tried this candle and if you've gotten it. Let me know. A lot of people think it's an old candle that came out last year. I think it was called Toasted S'mores. I didn't get that candle or burn it. Um, so let me know if you think it's comparable to that. My girls at Bath & Body Works, uh, Jess and Megan, were asking me that. I, and I said, yeah, I think people have compared it to that candle. So if you have Toasted S'mores, you might already have this. I don't know. So I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you're having a great week. And I will talk to you soon. Bye!